Okay, this is in <clears throat> this is intended as a short video in the event that I can't make it up to greet a guest to Shambhala. Uh, this is the kitchen area that you've seen in the pictures. Um, this right here is the um, double burner stove. This is a uh, barbecue grill. Underneath, there's uh, propane for both tanks. Uh, for both uh, units. This is the kitchen, kitchen sink. This is a uh, non-potable water, gravity fed, you bring it below the uh, uh, bucket back there and you get water. Put that back up there. This right here is all of your uh, dishwasher, your sanitizer and hand soap. Pots and pans. Inside there's a bunch of other pots, frying pan, um, all the stuff you'll need there. Obviously, I'm rushing. I'm trying to hurry. Um, this is just a gigantic tank. Uh, two buckets of, of uh, non-potable water. Um, I keep those here in case of emergency fire or anything like that. Or we'll to refill the um, dishwater or the shower. Also, here we've got drawers. Uh, forks, knives, uh, a couple paper plates. In here, we have um, other utilities. It's uh, a pair of pliers in here as well, in the event that you need to uh, grasp something that, that in turn. Also in here are uh, mantles for the lantern, that you need that. Um, trash bags in this bag right here. There's some drinking water. There's a food mixer and blender right there. Paper towels. The drinking water is in a sparkless container that's there. It's fed through hose and comes into um, another hose via a pump. You pump it, water comes out. The reason it's in the bag is that this UV from the sun eats up uh, plastic like you would not believe. So we try and keep it all protected. Um, so that's pretty much the kitchen. Uh, also, that, that's, yeah, that's the kitchen. Ah, okay, this is the uh, spring tent. I think that's sorry. This one right here is not bug free, but it is uh, less bugs because there's some tears in it. Uh, but this is where I do some of the staging. Uh, as you see, there's a table there. You can actually eat and other, do other things in there if you like. This here is the uh, main living room tent. Um, it's got a lantern in it, a uh, propane coma lantern. There's a spare propane cylinder under the table. Um, it's obviously screened in. Um, let's see, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's also a lounge rocker chair that I normally pit over on my um, um, uh, deck at the main tent at Columbia, uh, but that's in here for now just to keep the sun from eating it. Uh, so um, if the chair is in here, if you take it out, please put it back so that the sun doesn't uh, eat up the materials. This here is the bathroom uh, area. Uh, this is the toilet. You have a cover on to keep uh, the sun from destroying it. Um, foot pedal, just press on it. Uh, hard water will shoot through the um, inside and, and clean out the bowl. If uh, the bowl doesn't seem completely clean after uh, a flush, use the little uh, spray bottle that we have in the back here. Uh, it's less water, um, but it will the pressure will uh, help remove any uh, debris that's there. The um, shower is over here. Shower um, is gravity fed as well um, with all the to toiletries that you might need. Again, just hold down the, um, uh, just take this down. And as soon as you get below the base, the uh, shower begins. So um, actually it's pretty comfortable. Showered this morning and that's it. I have to add to the shower, it wasn't it. If you notice, I've designed it so that there's a little butt basket on the bottom. Um, if you need to refill the shower with the water that's in the containers in the kitchen area, 
um, just take the top off, place the bucket on the ground, pour the water in, um, but place the top back on gently because the area that you see underneath there uh, is somewhat delicate. Um, that's where the uh, attachment for the shower attaches to the bucket. Um, so just put the top back on gently and place it back in the, uh, uh, back in the tree and it will work perfectly. Okay, this is inside of Columbia, um, main tent. Uh, a couple things. Inside you've got lighting, um, the Shambhala guest book, please sign uh, and leave comments. Um, the bug zapper, um, I leave it here, but you can take it wherever you need it. Uh, there are lights in all, on uh, just about all the corners as well. Um, as you look around, there is a closet here so that uh, you can keep your clothing. Um, there's a chair uh, for your comfort. Inside the um, side pockets of the closet, there's one, uh, to the, the first one to the left. There's sheets, new sheeting. If you uh, need new sheets, uh, there's a full set right there. And this is our bear, uh, we'll call it a bear scareaway box. Inside here, there's, oh, talk about. Inside here, there's a uh, air horn right there. And also popper. Uh, these are the type of poppers you twist the bottom, which is difficult to twist uh, because it's compressed air, a can of compressed air. You twist it, and there is an enormous bang along with confetti uh, that comes out that will scare away anything that uh, is uh, not, not expecting it. It will scare you as well. Um, but we use this just in the event that there's a, an unwelcome visitor, i.e. animal, that is in uh, too close a proximity. Uh, inside the closet here, there's also, if you uh, ended up taking a shower but you forgot your own towel, there's a towel in there as well. Uh, just make sure that it's dry before you hang it back up. Um, and the only th other thing about in here is, please, uh, when you leave, make sure the windows are closed and uh, it's closed up the way that you found it. That way, if, if there's any uh, inclement weather, um, everything stays dry because it is a very dry tent. All right, I think that's it. Um, Outside, you know, if you look outside, you'll see the uh, lantern, or the Columbia lantern, and also one of the tiki torches. I didn't mention those. The tiki torches surround the uh, encircle Shambhala um, to hopefully pre create a, a, a bug, sort of a, a bug um, force field. And um, um, if you need more citronella oil, the citronella oil is in the kitchen um, on one of the shelves. And if you have trouble opening the uh, canister to put the citronella oil in, there are pliers in the second drawer of the uh, uh, utensil tray in the kitchen as well. So everything you need should be there.